Hello everyone, this is Ramadan Moore and today I'm gonna show you how to create custom kids based without much of hassle. This is the petgridsapp.com which lets you create custom grid saves without much of any hassle and you can create it very easily. As of now it is currently in beta version very soon it's gonna roll out for public but if you have access to beta version you can create it. Let me show you how. I have started in the beta version. I have gotten my to use Gritsit app, and I have created a bunch of here, a couple of here, sorry. sorry about this. And uh, let's, let's open it. Ta da! This is how it looks. This is the interface. And uh, here are the custom grid shapes I have created for desktop, tablet, and mobile. You can see it here. This is exactly how it's gonna look on the devices. Okay, let's start over this little cup. Really mess, so you won't understand what I'm creating. So let's create a new one for you. I'll create a new one here. Let me test and edit. Let's open it. Come on, just get the one. Okay, here it is. So I'll name the first grid to the desktop. You can name it whatever you want. I'll say it's to split it so I can use it well. Here's the cutter width. Cutter width is the exact gaps between these columns. And I'm going to increase it to 30 pixels because I like this pretty much. This is the width of the total website. You can decrease or increase it right from here. I think it's correctly locked down. That is why I can't actually move it here. Yeah, that is how you can increase and decrease the total width of the website. Right now, I'm gonna keep it to 990 and I'm gonna make it to 300 pixels. As you can see, it does all the calculations for you. One more thing you would like that here is you see the dark yellow color over here, it's the image padding that you can use later with automatic generated classes. Uh, this is it. Let me show you how to use this. Now, this is the link that you have to include in your header on the HTML. And this is an overlay script which outlines the classes for you. I'll show you how it works later on. But for now, let's see how it works. Editors. It will generate all the classes you need to lay out on your page. It easily does that for you. You can read it for more information. You will get all the information over here. It also generates a couple of classes for you. Here it is all which clears good for clear fixes, height, clear, pad, pad full, pad in, pad in full. Uh, there are a bunch of classes for you made automatically. It's cheat sheet for the layout, you see. Uh, I guess there's some problem over here. You can see that. Okay. You can see about the layer over here. The access tab, which lets you share the, this grid with anyone you want. I can enter your name or whatever. Okay, it's not working out, guys. I'm going to get it later on. I need more practice on my speaking English. 